He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemy. Yes, Lord. Verse 5, you anoint my head with oil, yes. and my cup runneth over. Yes, yes. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, yes. and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Yes, yes. I have read you Psalms number 23. May the Lord add a blessing to the reader, hearer, and doer of his holy and divine word. Let, Let us go in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you right now for giving us another chance to worship you. God, we thank you for the activities of our limbs. We thank you for this opportunity to worship. We thank God for the word of God that was prepared to come today. God, we thank you for every person that's on their way. Father, for those who are online that need to hear from you, God, I ask that you give them a right and ready word. Father, as we prepare to bless your name, give us the strength and give us what we need. These and all the blessings I ask in your darling son, Jesus' name, amen, and thank God. It's praise and worship time here in the house of God. And for those that are watching and those in the sanctuary, we invite you to worship our great God. Hallelujah. We invite you to sing unto the great God that we serve and we trust in. And we just want to praise him forever. And did anybody come to praise him? Song says, I just want to praise you forever and ever. Everybody say this, blessings and glory, and honor, they all belong to you, thank you Jesus, glory. for blessing me, let's sing it all over the house, just want to praise you, I just want to praise you, forever, forever. Give him glory today. Blessings and glory. Blessings and glory. And honor. And honor. They all. They all belong. Let's to give him thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For blessing. For blessing me. Let's sing it one more time, church. Come on, lift your voice. I just want to. I just want to praise you. How long will you praise him? Forever and never. And ever, for all all you've done done for me. me. We give God praise for being so good. Blessings and glory. Blessings and glory. And honor. And honor. They all all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For blessing me. Can we raise our praise today, Jericho, light of Jericho? Come on, let's take it higher. I just want to praise you. How long will you praise God? Forever. How long will you love him? And ever. And ever. And ever. For all. For all. You've done. You've done. For me. For me. We lift him up today. We sing blessings and glory. Blessings and glory. Blessings and glory and honor. And glory. honor. They all, they all belong One more time. to you. Blessings and glory. Blessings and glory and honor. And honor. Yeah. They all, they all belong, belong to, you. to you. Blessings 
Praise break and clap my hands and celebrate God. Come on. Hey. All right, all right. Come on, church. Say they all. They all belong to you. Come on. We come to lift up a mighty sound to our God. Hey, lift hey, him up. Hey. Say they all. They all belong to you. One more time as you think about all oh, that he's right, done. Right. Give him all the glory. Declare they all. They all. Just one more time, church. Think about how all he all right. he's done for you and just lift it up. They all they all belong to you. Blessings and glory. Blessings and glory. And honor. And honor. They all they all belong to you. you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For blessing me. For blessing me. Somebody bless them in the sanctuary. Come on, take a moment and continue to clap those hands. And as you're clapping, I want you to think about all the good things that he's done. All the ways that he's made. All the doors that he's opened. We bless our Savior today. Amen, amen, amen. 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 I just want to praise you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Forever and ever. Yes, Lord. Amen. Uh, just come in very briefly today. This is our period for offering. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. This is a, let's try it again. <laughs> this is our period yes, Lord. for offering. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Giving Hallelujah. is a part of our worship, and we thank God for the opportunity for us to give again. Yes, yes, yes. That's a blessing right there. Yes, yes, yes. To have the opportunity to give <laughs> again. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And amen. We come right now, no matter if you're online or you're here in the sanctuary, we want to make sure that this space is made available for those who want to use Cash App, GiveLify, or our uh, church center app, our text to give, or yes. call. Uh, Sister Nicole Dotson, so she can take your card online. Yes. But let's pray right now. God, everybody in the sanctuary, just hold your offering up. Whether you be online or if you already get, gave it, hold your cell phone up. <laughs> and just say, Lord, Lord, these are our gifts. These are our gifts. Please receive our gifts. Please receive our gifts. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As we go further. Please make sure that you give to those avenues, and we're going to go higher with Mr. Jesse Williams. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We bless God today, and we continue in celebration. Let me ask you a question. Has the Lord been really good to you? Yes. Yes, yes. Lord. Yes, Lord. Sometimes I know we have to, some of us have to see the house, and we have to see the car and the job, but God is just good even if we don't get the new house yes. or the job or the car. And so, therefore, I just come to say, God, thank you for all that you've done for me. All right. Do I have any grateful people that can just give God thanks for a moment? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Let's lift up this familiar worship song. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, unto the Lord for he is good. Yes, he is good. For yes, he, he is, is worthy. For he is worthy. Yes, he is worthy. For he is good. Yes, he is good. For he is worthy. Yes, he is worthy. For he is good. Yes, he is good. Yes, he is good. One more time. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Unto the Lord. Anybody know he's good? For he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto, unto the, Lord. the Lord. For He is good. For He is good. Yes, He is good. Yes, he For is He good. is worthy. For He is worthy. I believe He is worthy. Yes, He is good. For he is good. Yes, He is good. Yes, he is good. For, For He is, he is worthy. worthy. Oh, our God is worthy. Yes, He is good. For He is good. Yes, He is good. Yes, he now is take a moment good. and put your hands together and let's celebrate Him. Hey, for all that he's done, for all that he has done all for right. us, I give him praise today. I've come to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, 
for being so good to us. Hallelujah. Let's raise our praise. Oh, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto, unto the Lord, yeah. for he is good. He is so yes, good, he for he is, is worthy. For he is worthy, worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good. For he is worthy, worthy, for he is good. Yes, he Clap is good. Clap your hands one more time. Let's think about all that he's done. One more time. As we lift him up and celebrate God. He's a good God. Hey, he's right, a grateful right. God. And I love him today. And I've come with an agenda Thank to God. praise him on purpose. For he is worthy. Oh, oh for he, he is worthy. worthy. Worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good. For he is worthy. Worthy, for he is One more time, for he is worthy. Yes, he is good. For he is worthy. Do you believe he is? Worthy. For he is. For he is good. Yes, he is good. Yes, he is good. For, for he, he is, is worthy. Yes, he is. Worthy. For he is good. Come on, let's clap yes, our hands one more time by the Jericho. He's been good to us. Hey! I know, I know, I know that the Lord has been good. Yeah! All right, all right. Repeat after me, church, if he's been good. Say, he's been good to me. He's been good to me. Clap your hands right there. Hey, he's been good to me. He's been good to me. Come on, declare it if he has. He's been good to me. He's been good to me. Hey, say, he's been good to me. He's been good to me. Hey, look at your neighbor and say, he's been good to you. He's been good to you. I dare you to think how good he's been. He's been good to you. He's been good to you. He woke you up this morning. He's been good to you. He's been good to you. Started you on your way. He's been good to you. He's been good to you. Yeah. He's been good to us. 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 Woke us up this morning. He's been good to us. Start us on our way. He's been good to us. Put food on my table. He's been good to us. I know he's able. He's been good to us. 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 Clap your head, yeah. I know, I know. I know, I know. I know, I know. Without a shadow of a doubt. Right. He's been real, real good. He's been real, real good. All right. He's been real, real good. Hey, he's been good to me. 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 I didn't deserve it. He's been good to me. I didn't deserve it. He's been good to me. 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 We bless him and we give him glory. All right. Hey, he's been a mighty good God. Mighty, mighty good God. Mighty, mighty good God. Mighty, 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 mighty. Right, he's right. been a mighty good God. Yeah. He's been a faithful God. Yeah. He's been an awesome God. All he's right. been a way making God. He's been good to me. He's been good to me. Yes, he has. He's been good Yes, he has. Been good to me. Yes, he has. Been good to me. Forever he will be. Been good to me. Good, good, good. Been good to me. Good, good, good. Been good to me. Good, good, good. Been good to me. So 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 good. Been good to me. He's been good to me. He's been good. He is worthy. For he is worthy. worthy. For he is worthy. For he is worthy. worthy. One more time. For he is worthy. 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 For he is good. For he is good. Yes, he is good. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He's been good to me. He's been good to me. He's been good to me. He's been 
good to me. He's been good to me. He's been good to me. He's been good to me. He's been good to me. He's been good to me. Now listen, break it down a little bit. I know we got on our masks. All right, all right. And I know we are social distancing. Yeah, yeah. But I just want you to look at the person that's sitting six yeah. feet away from you. Those that are watching at home, if you're sitting on your couch with your family, I want you to look at your family and I want you to start having testimony service. Look at your neighbor and say, he did make a way out of nowhere. He did open up closed doors. Come on, tell your neighbor what he did for. He did make a way out of nowhere. He did work it out. When I didn't see no way, he made a way. Hey, he made a way. He made it good to us. He made good to us. Yeah, 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 yeah. He made good to us. Yeah, 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 yeah. He made good to us. Yeah, 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 yeah. He made good to us. So enough good. He made good to us. Real, real good. He made good to us. Money, money, money good. He made good to us. Money, money, money good. He made good to us. So good. He made good to us. Real good. Faithful and just, awesome and excellent. He's been so good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. He's been good to me. Been good to me. Clap your hands and give him a praise right there. Hey, glory. He's been real, real good. He's been real, 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 real good. So good. If I had 10,000 tongues, yeah, yeah, that yeah. wouldn't be enough to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. For all he's done for me. Thank you, Lord. My soul cries out, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Take a moment and lift your hands and say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We didn't deserve it, but he did it anyway. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, I came to praise him today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you not know that there was some man, some woman, some boy, or some girl that didn't get an opportunity to open up their mouth, yeah. to lift their eyelids, and see another day? So therefore, we owe him praise. Yeah, we owe him praise. Hallelujah. We owe him praise. We magnify his Hallelujah. name. Glory. <laughs> yeah, Glory. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 We bless his name. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, it's all right to go ahead and praise him. Hallelujah. We got another song to sing, but if we don't sing that song, here is our praise, God. We give it all to you. Yes, Lord. From the rising of the sun yes. until the setting of the same sun. Yes, Lord. I'll be like David. I'll bless you at all times. Yes. Yes. And it shall continually. Be My thank you yes. shall continually. Yes. My hallelujah shall continually be in my mouth. Be in my because mouth. he's been real good. Yes, Lord. Come on, lift your hands and Shabbat help. We're getting ready for the word. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm excited to hear the word of God today. Hallelujah. 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 Well, the King of Glory is here. <laughs> Who is this King of yes, Glory? Yes, yes. The Lord strong and mighty. <laughs> the Lord mighty in battle. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you might have walked in with your head down, but lift up your heads right now. Hey, yeah, 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 all ye yeah, gates yeah, and yeah, watch yeah, the King yeah, of Glory yeah. come in. He's already here. Hallelujah. Come on, the Lord strong and mighty. That's it, church. Hallelujah. That's what he wants. Come on. This is our final Hallelujah. selection. Yeah, this is our final Hallelujah. selection. We open up our mouth and praise you, God. There is none like you in all the earth. We worship you. We praise you. We magnify you. There is none like you. We worship you in this place. We give you glory. We give you honor. And we give you praise. 
Hey, glory. Glory. Hey, oh, 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 hey. I'm sorry. Listen. Pastor, I was trying to get your attention to come take this mic, but a praise snuck up on me because I started thinking how good God really has been. I want to just encourage somebody that whatever you've been waiting on and whatever you need God to do, it's in this atmosphere right now. Just go ahead and praise him while you got a chance. Because any day now he's going to do just what he said he would do.
Hallelujah. Bless the name of our God. Amen. Amen. Sound, sound, sound like what the church ought, what the church ought to be doing when we come together. Sound like, sound like what the church ought to be doing. Uh, Jesse, when we Riding down the street. Yeah, sound like what the church ought to be doing. Anyhow, Lord bless his holy name. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you now for this time of sharing. We thank you, Father, for the praise that have gone forth. And our prayers that you would heartily receive it. I stand again in this place. I ask that you look on us, that the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Send forth your word according to your will, that your people might hear, that sinners might be saved, that shackles may be broken. And in all things that you will receive the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. We do rev our God, brother clergy, and to all of God's sons and daughters, to all of those who are viewing with us on today. This is the day the Lord hath made. This is the day the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. I want to share with you today from a very faithful song and I call it faithful because uh, it's one it's one that the people of God have referred to often in times of extremity they have referred to it often in times of despair I want to share with you from the 23rd Psalm. It was read, it was read uh, in, our, in our devotional, and I, I try to line those passages up for whatever's coming forth from this desk. But I want to lift in your hearing uh, from the 23rd Psalm, I will be lifting verse verses 5 and 6 of that psalm, but just for the sake of context, let me read the entire psalm. Will you go with me? Yeah. Will you go with me? Yeah. Amen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, y'all going have to have, have to talk a little louder uh, because, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, because, because those, listen, because those, those masks, those masks make things a little muffled. Yeah. And I don't know whether you say an amen or sit down. <laughs> Here, the 23rd Psalm, the King James Version, the words are, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his namesake. Yea, though I walk through the valley, of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy whew, shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever. <laughs> oh. 
I'm sorry, I'm a little messed up, bro. I'm, I'm a little, little messed up. Go, go on and take a praise break. That, he's, that he does all this to me it's the fact of knowing it it's the fact of knowing knowing him when it's beyond religion and it's rooted in relationship when I think don't have to do it long but when I think of the goodness of all my Jesus and all he's done for me. I gotta, I gotta go. God bless you. This is an amazing psalm. Because the, the writer starts out with an affirmation. And then he closes with a testimony of praise. Somewhere in the middle, he's talking about the amenities of being in the relationship. You know how it goes. He starts out with the affirmation, the Lord is my shepherd. And I don't want another one. That, that's what he's saying. He's not saying I'm, I won't be in need of creature comforts. He said, but... But, but the Lord is my shepherd and I don't, I'm not in the market for a new one be, because he provides everything I need. Starts out that way and then turns around and said, start talking to him. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me mm -hmm. in the presence of my enemy. Yeah, but, but he closes out Howard saying, <laughs> Surely, truly, beyond the shadow of a doubt, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord for a mighty good psalm, isn't it? But I just wanted these two verses, five and six. He said, my, my, my cup runneth over. And that's what I want to talk about. 
running over. Overflow. Running over. Overflow. Yeah, yeah. Running over. In comparison to the rest of the world, all of us, I'm talking about in comparison to the rest of the world, all of us have cups that are running over. It, 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 yeah, yeah, we, we, we may not have what somebody else had. But our cups are really running over. When you consider there are countries where, where, where people, average income sharing is less than 25 cent a day. 25 cent a day. We can find that much on the floor of the car. Can probably find more than that down in this sofa cushion. How many times have we dropped 25 cent and walked past it? Because it, it's only 25 cent. Are you listening? In comparison to the rest of the world, our cups are running over. And especially as the people of God, I wish we would pay attention, pay attention to what, what God does within and especially for us. Uh, Brother uh, Tucker, we can holler broke and still get a clean glass of water. We can cry, cry broke and still have clothes on our ear. And God, uh, being so good, he has provided, even during a, a season of pandemic, where foodstuffs are made available. Are you listening? It, it doesn't matter what your, what, your, what your zip code is. It doesn't matter what your, what your income is. Foodstuffs are being made available even in this season. That great Baptist preacher, C.H. Spurgeon, said uh, of, of this, not only have I enough, but more than enough. I possess not only all that I'm capable of containing, but I inherit, listen to this, an excess of joy, a redundancy of blessing, an extravagance of favor, <laughs> and, a, and a prodigality of love. These Spurgeon's words. What he says in essence is I, I got, I've got so much. I possess so much because God has granted it. Some cups do not run over. Some are saying my cup runs over. Oh, the goodness and mercy is going to follow me the days of my life. Some cups, might I share with you, do not run over. And if you're in earshot, if you're able 
to hear what I'm saying. Some cups do not run over because they are taken to the wrong source for filling. Yeah, yeah, they're taken to the wrong, wrong source. Did your mother ever tell you don't eat at everybody's house? I, I, I know mine did. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and we need to know, people need to know, uh, who, 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 is the, who is the source of all blessing? In him we live. Move and have I been. I you'll let that sink in. In him we live, move, and have our being. Can I tell you? Can I tell you this afternoon a, a believer cannot be filled? At the world's leaky cistern. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't, you can't, you can't be filled. You can't be filled. You can't be filled by, by the water source of the world. Are you listening? There are things that will never cause a cup to run over. I need you to hear me, hear, hear me, saints. It doesn't matter how much you have. Wealth will not cause you to live realistically in the overflow. Now that won't cause you cup to run over. Um, pleasure I want to be happy. Can I, can I serve God and still be happy? Of course you can. But know the difference between being pleasured. I better leave that out there for a minute. The difference from being pleasured and being happy. Can I tell you that those things that we often deem pleasurable come from another source. Being pleasured it's all about me. Are you listening? It's all about me. And what I, what I think will uh, release some endorphins. You know it don't have to be holy. Because it's dealing in the flesh. Fame. <laughs> yeah. Fame will never fill the cup. It'll never fill, it'll never fill the cup. But I but I want to be famous. Fame is dependent upon somebody else's estimation of who you are. And when your, popul your level of popularity fails, you are no longer famous. Fame only lasts for a season. Because, because uh, who, those who on these things suffer from and I'm going to say it like this the dis-ease 
of discontent. You might want to say disease, but I want to paint it dis-ease of being content. Do you remember our ancient brother Paul, one, one who stands out generally in the minds of men next to Christ when it comes to Christendom? He says this, I've learned how to abase and how to abound. I, I, I've learned how to do without, and I've learned to do with. But whether I have it or don't have it, I have learned to be content. Are, are you listening? You can, you can be content. You can be content, my brothers and sisters, when you know who holds all the cards. You can be content when you know that the one who is in control knows who you are, knows where you are, and what he wants to do. Are you listening? Yeah, he said, I, 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 learned, I learned to be content. Thank you, Paul. It's a good thing when we can learn something along the way. It, it may not start out that, like that mother, but, but, <laughs> but if you stay in there, if you continue, you come to recognize he, he's going to take care, take care of me. Hey, listen, a, a discontented man, a discontented individual, uh, dooms themselves to the worst poverty of all. That is the poverty of spirit. That's the worst poverty of all. The poverty of, of, of spirit. The, the discontented will always be discontent. Because that there's there's this crazy element, and that is the envy of others. If I could, if I could, if I if I could, I, I I'd, I'd get rid of that word called envy. Because listen, I want to drop a, drop a note of validation on everybody here. Everybody in this room is worth something to the kingdom work. The good thing is we don't all do the same thing. I don't need but one steering wheel in my car. Come on now. I don't, don't need but one steering wheel in, in that vehicle. But, but, but I'm not going to make it. Yeah. I ain't going to make it. I, 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 I need one, two, three, four on the ground. And, and if I if I if 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 I'm, if I'm looking toward the future, I probably need to keep make sure there's one in a spare a spare in the rear. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Every listen, everybody here has value and worth, and God have already established a place on the program for everybody whose heart is open to hear what he says. You don't have to make it up. He'll place you there. Their vices. Their vices that are particular to the rich. But, but this is this is one of the faults of poverty. Roman, Romans 12 and 15 shows that, that shows, shows the way of an overflowing cup. This is what happens when the way of an overflowing cup makes everything yours. That's what it does. 
when, when you, when, listen, when, when, when your cup is overflowing, it's, it's overflowing into somebody else's cup. And, 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 and that cup will flow over into yet somebody else's cup. It's almost like it's almost it's almost like a a a, a, a three tiered fountain, a, a, a better a, a any tiered fountain. Uh, when when that when that top when that top that when that when that top bowl is filled, uh, it, it it overflows into yet another. Can I ask you a question? Are you living life in the overflow? Is your life if is your life pouring into someone else's life? Is it pouring pouring consistently where it's now touching lives that you have never never known? Some don't don't it doesn't happen because because for, for some there's the lack of faith. Much of what we receive, people of God, believers. Much of what we, we receive uh, comes, it comes by faith. Yeah, faith, listen, our faith tells God what he can trust us with. He tells us what about how much he can trust us with. Huh? Uh, 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 he, he doesn't bless us. Uh, he, he doesn't bless us so we can go along saying, I got a brand new pair of roller skates, you got a brand new key. But he bless us in order that others might be recipients of his blessing. Man without faith, a man without faith will, will seldom live in the overflow. Come on now. Now listen, people of God. All of us get broke sometime, don't we? Have you ever? I ain't talking about being broke. I'm talking about living outside of faith so that, um, come on, I need the old folk to help me. Uh, uh, where you can't get your nose off of the grinding stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Living, live, living so, so far from faith that every time God try to bless you, you don't even recognize it's God speaking into your life. Are you listening? And, 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 and listen, 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 we, we, listen, as the people of God, we have to learn how to, listen, learn how to sing some, some more victorious songs. <laughs> it's so hard to get along. At the song of woe. But sing, sing songs that, 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 you can, that you can really worship by. You know what I'm saying? Songs you can really, really worship. Lord, Lord I love you. Lord, I adore you. Uh, 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 holy, holy, holy. Lord God. All, yeah, we can worship. Let, let me let me let me let me let me hear it. Let me hear it on. Listen, uh, 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 the man without faith is is seldom going to live in the overflow because he listen. He doesn't have faith. He doesn't trust God. Now, if you if if you ever want to if you ever want to take a test of how much faith you have, trust God with what God has already trusted you with. Sometimes I like to give the demonstration where when you give it to him, he says, give it back to me. Give it to him, he says, give it back to me. But every time he give it back to you, he gives it to you, pressed down, shaking together, and running over. And the way you give it to God, listen, and the way you give it to God is you put it through the exchange where he will receive glory. I wish somebody would pray with me. 
Some cups do run over. I stayed at the don't point but long enough. But some cups do run over, and they run over because, because having Christ, uh, we have in him all things. Between here and heaven, between here and heaven, there's nothing. Uh, there's nothing we uh, uh, will we, we'll want that God has not already supplied. Oh yeah, He's all He's already supplied. Romans eight thirty two. Romans eight thirty two explains perfectly. God is going to listen. Uh, can I say it? Can I say it simply? Listen, God is too big to let little folk like us mess him, mess him up. Listen, when you, when you, st I mean, seriously, I ain't talking about just making your mouth say it. But when, when, when you, when you, when you, when your conviction is, I'm going to trust God no matter what. I'm going to trust God for all things. Can I tell you today that God is going to show up? And he'll let it be known. Nobody, hey, but me. God's, God's blessings are like gift wrapping. You know, gift wrapping. You, some, some, you, when you, when you, you, you don't know how, you don't know, you don't know, really know what's in there. It's wrapped up so neatly. You, you don't really know what's in there. But you need to know this. That God is the maker and giver of every good and perfect gift. Are you listening? You don't, you don't know how he you don't know how he's gonna bless bless you. Somebody said, Well, you need to be specific. I I I I thank God, thank God for the elders who say stuff like, Anyway, you bless me, Lord. It, 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 yeah, yeah. Anyway, you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Because the saint, listen, the old saints had, they may not have had PhDs or, or, or three masters, but, but they, they had a great, great faith and confidence in God. And they knew, uh, you knowing me and you knowing my case, any way you do it is going to be all right because you're going to always work for my greater good. Any way you bless me, Lord. Stay with me just a little while, and I'll 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 I'll, I'll, I'll be be through. Just, just I'll be through shortly. Listen, uh, God's 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 blessings. They they come, they come because they're they, they come the way they come because they're from an infinite God. He's our God, and He is limitless. He is, listen, uh, abundant blessings are promised to us. C can you hear me today? God has promised abundant blessings. And he is not a man that he should lie. He promised it and he will deliver it. Have you experienced receiving more than you prayed for? Have, have you experienced that? Are you prayed for, 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 for a little bit and God came with one of those spiritual dump truck fools. Yeah. I just want, I just, I just want to remind you, he didn't drop all the load just for you. He dropped the overflow that you might be a blessing to somebody else. I wish you prayed with me. We receive more if we're honest. If we're honest about it, we receive more than we than we deserve. Amen. We receive more than what we deserve. Uh, don't don't let the adversary don't let the adversary play with you and tell you about what all's wrong with you. 
Because in the midst of it all, God is granting great blessings. Now you understand in this physical, in this physical body, in this temporary dwelling, in this tent, we're going to have aches. We're going to have pains. Come on now. We're going to have conditions. But none of them are greater than what God is, all, what God is still doing in your life. Living, allowing you to, to experience its overflow even with a little ache. Even with a little pain. Are you listening? In our, in our, in our prayers and our devotions, we ought to seek always to bring God glory. Talk to him and help him and, and allow him to help us keep the focus for our purpose on this side of life. Yes, my brothers and my sisters, there's no problem. We're praying if the overflow is received wisely. Again, that is, when it's received wisely, uh, the first thing we do is ask God, uh, since you blessed me to be the custodian of it, what will you have me to do? Oh, yes, oh, yes, there, there's too much narrowness in the largest hearted man. And it's not easy. It's not, it's not a hard thing. It's not a hard thing uh, for that, that old man to creep up. Because I need to tell you the old man is hanging around in the wings. He's waiting on an opportunity uh, to to come in and drag you back to where God has brought you from. So can I share with you as I get ready to close, there is a position that you need always keep your cup. Keep your cup, yeah, where it is. Don't take it from under the spring, but leave your cup right where it is. That little thing that we we used to we used to used to use about in the in Malachi three and eight, where the Lord says, uh, uh, "Prove me, test me, try me, and see if I will not open to you." the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing where you won't have room to receive it. I used to muse about that and what we, we would always surmise is that since God is going to pour the blessing out of the window, don't move, don't run, but stay under the winter. Likewise, when it comes to our cup, when God is causing it to overflow, uh, don't, don't, don't set your gaze on somebody else. Don't be distracted by the blessing, but always remember uh, the blesser. Don't credit Ah, uh, yourself for that which God is doing. But in all things, give him the glory. Prosperity, yeah, have spoiled many. And seeing that prosperity have spoiled many, yeah, prosperity have brought on for so many others poverty. Well, I, I want to tell you, make sure, my brothers and uh, my sisters, that when God bless you, you sure enough be a blessing uh, to somebody else. If God feels us, it is uh, that we may bless somebody else. For the Bible teaches this, that uh, when it comes uh, to that which is 
with hell it will will withhold uh, and bring forth that which he is impoverished uh, but when we learn how to scatter it brings uh, forth increase uh, can I tell you can I tell you until you've shown uh, what God have given you yes your life really won't experience the joy of knowing him. I uh, want you concentrate on the fullness of the one uh, uh, by whom uh, our cup is filled. I have uh, many acquaintance on this side of life, but know this, that God is the one uh, who fills my cup. Yes, uh, it's not by human ingenuity, it's by divine uh, design. So as I hurry to my seat, can you, can you, can you, can you sing, uh, my cup is full uh, and running over. If you can't sing it, uh, I want to ask the question, uh, what is wrong? If you can't sing, my, my cup is running over. Well, uh, who, who woke you up this morning? Who gave you uh, eyes to see? Who gave you ears uh, to hear? Who gave you the activity of your limbs? Uh, so I ask her, uh, can you sing, my cup is full uh, and running over? Mm. Are you seeking it from the wrong source? Uh, if there's no feeling and he's promised to feel, uh, if you haven't uh, received it, uh, just maybe you keep hanging around uh, the wrong source, uh, suffering from uh, general discontent. Uh, it's a bad thing when you can't see the glory of God in the lives of others. Uh, it's a bad thing when you can't recognize what God is doing uh, in the body of his people. Uh, it's a bad thing when you can only uh, say who ain't uh, and what ain't uh, and you can't validate uh, others uh, by the word uh, and the spirit uh, of God. I'm leaving you now, my brothers uh, and my sisters. Are you uh, a true believer? Be sure if you are to keep your cup uh, under the flow, keep your cup uh, in the way of blessing. I, I heard the psalmist say, my cup run it over yes and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever goodness uh, and mercy they're gonna be my constant companion and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever Yes, thank God if you view it, if you hear today and you really want to experience the overflow, there is only one uh, true way to God, red lamb, and that is uh, through uh, the lamb of God who was prepared from the foundation of the world. Do you know him? Yeah. His name is Jesus. Yes. If you want to experience the overflow, you have to be connected. If you want to be connected, I hear, I hear, the old saints say, let's go to the mountain. She that bleed in land. There's a mountain. There's a place 
a skull shaped heel. Please call Captain. There he died. I owed, but I could not pay. But he paid it out on the cross. It couldn't be paid with diamonds. Couldn't be paid with silver. Couldn't be paid with gold. Couldn't be paid with power. Couldn't be paid with position. Could be paid, Lord God, no, but ah, only the blood of the Lamb of God. He hung, he bled, he died. Yeah. But early, feel pretty good right now. Yeah. On the third day, he got up that folk like you and I might have a right to the tree of life and live up in the overflow. Do you know him? who live beneath the privilege of their salvation. If you want to live in the overflow, I dare you to be obedient to his word. Get off that religion kick and get in the relationship where you might be able to write one day, he walks with me. He talks with me and tells me that I am his own. Yeah, and the joy. Come on. <laughs> and the joy we share. Uh, and the joy we share and the joy we share yeah I want to extend an invitation to Christian discipleship friend if you've been searching I want to I want to encourage you to seek the one the one who is able to bring you in right relation with God. I know, I know in this world you hear a lot of things. But believe me, there's only one name given among men. Whereby we must be saved. But Reverend, I hear so many, so many folks saying so many things about the reason they're talking about him because he's the real deal. He will not leave you nor will he forsake you. If you're not saved, salvation is available to you right now. And you don't have to jump through fiery hoops, but, but repentantly, wherever you are, turn away from where you are and turn to him. Ask, ask God to come into your life. Ask God to save you. And he'll save you right where you are. If you're in your bedroom, your living room, in the kitchen, out in the yard, wherever you are, he'll save you because geography and location ain't got nothing to do with salvation. 
you here today, if you hear me today, this time is set aside for you. If you would like to unite with us, your viewing, there's a number at the bottom of the screen. That's there for you. Everybody who's connected to Christ needs to be in fellowship that we might know his word, that we might know his way. Blessed Savior. you. We set forth a demand and done as commanded. And there is still, still room. Amen. God has been so good to us. He has blessed us in so many ways.
top has to rise. He was a senior at Soul Dan High School. I was at a concert choir performance since my daughter Pamela was a member. The young man that led the choir by now song was um, the song was Oh Happy Day. That young man had all of us on our feet. When I asked my daughter about him, she said, let's say he's a preacher, Mom. I never knew at the time that he was going to be my pastor. I am truly thankful for the gift that God sent to the life of Jericho Missionary Baptist Church. Through this young man's leadership, our church has grown tremendously. Not only the brick and mortar structure, but most importantly, our spiritual growth. Pastor Rogers believes in Christian education because if you know better, prayerfully, you will do better and be the people that God can use. Pastor Rogers takes mission literally as our church motto is serving God through servicing men. This young man truly loves God and God's people and people in general. He not only talks the talk, but he walks the walk. My pastor deserves this earthly honor and tribute for 38 years of dedicated service. I believe God is pleased with his hand picked service. I pray for his strength daily and that God will keep him and his family right where he belongs at the Light of Jericho Missionary Baptist Church. Thank you. Always so 
thank the Lord for each and every one of you. Uh, time, time flies. Time flies. Uh, uh, in November, we'll be celebrating 40 years. You might want to call this a leap year. Uh, starting out in 81, uh, that was 81, 82 was that harsh winter we had when so it was locked down. We didn't have insulation until March of 82. That's why we were always a year behind. This is our leap year. So the trivia question for the Jericho family is, what anniversary year did we skip? <laughs> this was, if, if we'd have followed the schedule, it would have been 39. So I, I'm just grateful that uh, 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 the, the virus did a whole lot of stuff for us, didn't it? Yeah. Amen. Cause us to take a deep look at some things. I don't want to worry you. I want to encourage you to remember all of our sick, our shut in, and your prayers. Amen. Uh, do remember all of our sick and our shut in, and your prayers. Those brothers and sisters uh, who, who, are, who are traumatized by the stay at home orders and masks, just pray for them. Amen. 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 But for the grace of God, it could be us. Amen. Pray for the increase of the, the, increase of, the uh, of their faith and their courage to stand on God's word. Pray for the church's proper. Yes. Because you, you, you need to know that things are going to look different. They're going to look different. I'm telling you, it's going to look different in the future. But as the people of God, we got to be ready to meet the challenge. Yes. Because the marching orders remain the same. Right. Amen. 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 Shall we pray? All right. Thank you. That was, I had a. Yeah, I had a. Uh, I had I had a card. All right. There you go. We have family and friends T-shirts available. Uh, please get in touch with Sister Deneen. Uh, if, you, if you like the t-shirt, uh, there they are. There they are. Okay. Uh, love to see you in the t-shirt. Amen. 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 See Sister Deneen. Deneen, where are you? Okay. Come down here so they can see you. <laughs> We got all these masks on, we can't really tell who's who. But this is the name with the blue top. Amen. Amen. This is the name. Amen. Don't forget, uh, on next Sunday, God willing, on next Sunday, brother Terrence Clark. Amen. Amen. And I want to encourage you all to pray for him yes. and pray with him. Amen. 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 Uh, keep him before the Lord. As we prepare to go, let us pray. Our Father, our God, we come this afternoon again saying thank you for allowing us to converge on this place, yeah. to have a period of fellowship, and try to praise your name. We pray that you have received our worship, because we have sure to receive your joy. As we prepare to go down from here, we ask that you look on the sick, who are the household of faith all over the world. Look on those who are in dire straits because of politics, economy, or whatever. You are God and God alone. We ask that you look on us collectively and individually. We ask that you look on the musicians of this day. Yeah. 
that their hearts might be encouraged to continue to pray to your glory. We ask, oh God, that you look on the committed saint who has determined that he or she will utilize their voice to praise your name. I ask for God a special blessing upon them. This is a time when men need to hear of your goodness, of your power. Let it be the testimony of the saints. We ask for God in the name of Jesus that you look on our civic leaders. They too be. Then, Father, we pray that in all things your will be done. Get ready to go down from here. We ask that you dismiss us from this place, but never from your presence. In Jesus' name, amen.